Hi everyone, this is Anjali Patak and welcome to my channel. Today in this video, we will go through few Tableau interview questions and the level would be basic to intermediate. Now the first question, which as a new user or a beginner of Tableau, you might encounter is how many different Tableau products are there? So this is a relatively easy question, I would say. Let's go through that. Now the first product is Tableau Desktop and as the name suggests, it is the desktop version of Tableau. Now this is the key product which all Tableau developers use on their machines to create interactive dashboards for uh, guided analytics and stories for the clients or business users. It can also publish to a server or online environment, you know, so the rest of the organization can leverage your work. It is a paid software. Those students can get one year free license with the college email ID. So that was about Tableau Desktop. Then you have Tableau Prep, which refers to two products. One is Prep Builder to help you build data flows. And second is Prep Conductor to schedule, monitor and manage flows across the organization. Now Prep's main purpose is an ETL tool to get data ready for analysis. ETL is nothing but extract, transform and load. So it allows you to visually combine data from multiple data sources and you can clean data and publish data sources to serve as a single source of truth for your organization. Now Prep Builder is locally installed while Prep Conductor is browser based. Then comes Tableau Server and Online. So you can share and collaborate with your organization with Tableau Server and Tableau Online by hosting workbooks, data sources. Prep flows and data extract published through Tableau Prep or Desktop. Okay, so Tableau Server can make use of live connections as well as data extract, right? So data extracts uh, will have to be refreshed as per the defined frequency. And uh, Tableau Server or online can also send data alerts when certain conditions are met, which you would have set like uh, when revenue reaches new record high or uh, you know there's something to really worry about uh, the thresholds are crossed for your kpis right so all those types of uh, alerts you can set in tableau server online the next is tableau reader now tableau reader is a free desktop application that you can use to open and interact with data visualization built in Tableau desktop. You can filter, drill down and discover data, but you cannot make any changes to the dashboards or download the underlying data, right? And uh, Tableau Reader does not have security features required for many organizations. Therefore, use in the enterprise setting is unlikely. Then you have Tableau Public, which is a free software and it allows you to share data with the world. So instead of exporting a workbook and sending it, you can publish it to Tableau Public, which is Tableau's free cloud service. The published data is static and there are no automated data refreshes. A published workbook or dashboard is available to everyone that has access to the URL. So it is not the right product if your data is sensitive and requires security policy. Then you have Tableau Mobile, which is a free mobile app for accessing Tableau Server and Tableau Online on your mobile devices, making it easy to keep a pulse on your data from wherever you are, whenever you need it. While it is free, mobile requires a Tableau license in order to use it. And Tableau Mobile will automatically cache your favorite views and dashboards for offline viewing. The next question which can come is, what are dimensions and measures? Okay. So whenever you connect to a new data source, what Tableau does is it assigns each field in the data source as dimension or measure in the data pane, depending on the type of the data the field contains. So dimensions are nothing but you know, qualitative values. So it could be a product name, it could be a order date or ship date, or it could be a geographical data like region or pin code, right? So you can use dimensions to categorize or segment and reveal the details in your data. Now dimensions, when you will add to your visualization, what they will do is they will affect the level of detail in the view. 
which is your view level of detail now when it comes to measures they contain numeric quantitative values that you can measure right they can be aggregated so whenever you drag a measure into the view tableau will by default apply an aggregation to that measure which could be a sum or average right now if you see here this is a data set right and if you see these headings these columns like state country market region product id category sub category product name these all are dimensions why because these can easily segment your data these are qualitative in nature and on the right hand side if you see your sales quantity discount profit what all are these these are measures because these can be aggregated you can take sum of sales you can take average you can take uh, Uh, maybe standard deviation right all those things you can apply over here aggregation methods okay now next question which could be asked in an interview is what are blue and green pills in tableau okay now tableau represents data differently in the view depending on whether the field is discrete normally discrete is blue in color or continuous which is green in color so continuous and discrete are mathematical terms okay and by that it means continuous is unbroken it's continue right it's without interruption and discrete means like you have it as individually separate and distinct you are like bucketing it okay so that means discrete now green measures like sum of profit over here if you see this is a green measure and dimensions let's say if you have a date which is continuous so it will be displayed as a green pill over here these are continuous a continuous field values are treated as an infinite range okay and generally continuous field add access to the view and blue measures and dimensions are discrete and discrete values are treated as finite generally discrete fields add headers to the view so if i have to show you here in tableau let's say if i have sales over here now this is nothing but your continuous measure and continuous measure is green in color and here you will see that it has brought in axis over here so that's how continuous behave and let's say i have region over here and sales in the label so here you will see that this is blue in color this is discrete discrete dimension and being a dimension it has headers over here and being a discrete field it is like finite values right you have finite values over here this is not infinite and you have basically segmented the data so that's what a green pill or a blue pill means and here you have dimensions and measures right and it is also possible that a dimension could be let's say um, continuous right let's say you drag order date over here now by default it takes it as a discrete field but you can always convert it to continuous so i want let's say this continuous month field over here and let's bring sales over here Now this is you will see that this is although this is a dimension but now since I have converted it into continuous it's being displayed as a green pill so green is always continuous and if I again change it to let's say this one this is discrete month you will see that now it has changed to blue pill this is discrete in nature discrete will always be finite values okay so this concept you should be able to tell to the interviewer. then how can we disaggregate data in tableau right so whenever you add a measure to your view an aggregation is applied to that measure by default we just saw that right now this now this default is controlled by the aggregate measure setting in the analysis menu and if you want to let's say see all of the marks in the view at the most detailed level of granularity which is the record level in the data set you can just simply disaggregate the view now disaggregating your data means 
that tableau will display a separate mark individual mark for every data value in every row of your data source so first of all you should know what each row in your data source means for example in our case my each row means an order so i can simply disaggregate that data and see each of the orders maybe in the visualization okay but you should be comfortable with the meaning of one record level in your data source if you don't know that then there's no point in disaggregating your measures because you don't know what you will end up with right so let me go back to tableau i'll just show you let's say we have sum of sales here and uh, we have profit here now since these uh, profit and sales both are being aggregated if you see here that's why you see only one dot over here one mark over here now to disaggregate this you have to go to analysis menu and deselect this aggregate measures the moment you do that you will see that each record in my data source will be displayed here this is a beautiful scatter plot between sales and profit and each dot over here represents one record level in my data source which is a unique order okay so i know each dot basically represents one unique order and that order gave me how much sales and how much profit i can see it from here which orders are my outliers which orders performed really well which orders did not give me profit i can just simply see all those things by disaggregating the measures over here right then what is the difference between row level calculation and aggregate calculation okay so row level calculation is nothing but a calculation which is done for each row in your data row level results are then aggregated just like normal fields okay so let's consider a data set below and where we have price and quantity now let's say if we want a row level calculation to be performed we will simply write that field name let's say price field price into quantity this is a row level calculation so for each of these rows that calculation will be performed now you will see here that we are performing the row level calculation right and when it comes to aggregate calculations what we do is we basically wrap the field in aggregated function right aggregate function which could be some average min max right so here what we have done is we have applied a aggregation method sum to revenue field which is which we have calculated here now when you apply sum of revenue it will be calculated at the visualization level of detail now in your visualization if you have uh let's say months being displayed so what tableau will do is it will sum the revenue field by each of these months to do that what it will do is it will sum here all the revenue here if you see these four rows it will sum the revenue of these four rows for january month and bring that number here similarly for february it will sum these four revenue and then bring it over here so that's how the aggregation is performed so that is all about aggregate calculation then next question is let's say i want to display the running total of sales as percentage of total sales on a month on month basis how can we do this okay so let me show you tableau here again so let's say we have sales and uh, then we have uh, order date and month on month basis and let's take uh, bar over here and let me again aggregate measures so this is nothing but your sales month on month sales but i want a running total so i'll just take help of quick table calculation and click on this running total now this is a running total once you click on show labels it will show you the running total sales amount right but it's not displaying the percentage of running total so to do that you will have to apply uh secondary calculation over here so this is the first one which we are doing running total once you click add secondary calculation it will display secondary calculation type that i want as percent of total 
So first one will bring in running total of some, and then this will perform percent of total on top of that. Just click that, and now you will see that you have the percentage of running total of sales, right? So that's how you can perform, and you can tell the interviewer. Then, what is the difference between live and extract? Okay, so live data connections are nothing but a live connection to the underlying data source, which could be a Hadoop data source or AWS or a DB2 or a SQL data source, right? But it's a live connection, and it is a really secure option because first of all, you are not creating any copies of the data source, or you are sharing your data source with any other. Users, right? We are simply querying and visualizing the data from its hosted location. Now, the drawback to this option is performance related. Why? Because we are querying the live data source. So, response time depends on factors like size of the data source, type of hardware, number of users, sharing resources, right? And if your, uh, let's say, data source is experiencing some issue. and then your tableau dashboard can also experience downtime right but extract you know they create a snapshot of the data by using tableau's own hyper data engine and these extracts are optimized for tableau and will always perform faster than a live data connection most of the cases and drawbacks i would say is that this extracts are less secure because you would be creating copies of data source again which could be shared outside the company servers as well and then there's an obligation to refresh and extract to bring in new data into the data source so that you have to take care maybe you can schedule auto refresh uh, frequency but yeah you will not be able to see real time data in case of extracts generally but in case of extracts your dashboard will not go down it will always be up and will load faster in comparison to live data source so that is something which extracts are really useful for so in real life scenarios we use combinations of live data source as well as extracts depending on the situation depending on the use case right it is not necessarily that you have to use only live data source or only extract it will always be a combination of both so that's it from my end guys i'll be coming up with more questions on tableau interview series and uh, do like this video and subscribe to my channel thank you